All right, so now that now that I've dealt with the hiccup uh, hiccup issue, I I get hiccups really easily. I can get hiccups from talking too fast. I can get hiccups from being too full. I can get hiccups from being cold. It's bad. All right, apiaries. Oh right, I'm doing the wrong thing again. Okay. Let's go back here. Sort of expensive, but a no plot based storage. Yeah, that'd be nice. I mean, honestly, I would actually, what I want in this game is actually a really expensive uh, feeder system. Like uh, pipes that you can put into the ground at regular intervals, Factorio style. This just makes me want to play Factorio right now. Um, where like you can, you can actually feed stuff together and like have like valves that you can switch and make, uh, make your life more convenient that way. Oops. Okay. Because, yeah, I... I hate having to constantly just grab plorts from these guys. I guess what we could do is just stop feeding them. And get rid of, like, half of them. If we really wanted to. Okay. So we don't really need any of these plorts, now that I'm thinking about it. I'll probably just convert them to money. And then we'll go out to where the apiaries are and see if I can get a, uh... If I can get a, uh, another royal jelly, I'm gonna put a... One of the deposit things... Next to that set, so we never have to think about it either. What about modded Factorio? I'd have to look at mods first. See if the price has gone up that much? Not really. Okay, well... I got more... Ah, uh, the... What? Oh, uh, how many apiaries do I even have? That I can build. Okay, uh, I have not built any. Right. We didn't build any because we needed, uh, pink, pink plorts. And I've been lazy about getting them. Oh, shoot, we need, uh, cube fruit in there. I have not been paying attention. But yeah, it'd just be really nice if you could actually slime science, like, Factorio stuff into this game, just for, like, sheer convenience and whatnot. Alright, so we don't even need to think about over... over withdrawing here, because I can just go dump them as much as I want. Makes my life a lot easier. But yeah, I... I don't know. I, I, I love games that have, like, built-in automation systems. I love, actually, for, uh... for, like, Factorio-style objectives to make it into a game like Starbound or Terraria as well. Just because I think that would be really enjoyable. Uh, Stardew Valley did kind of an okay job of it by adding like sprinklers and uh, better tools to make life easier. I kind of wish more games were like that. I could actually, you know what we could do to make uh, life a little bit faster? Could get these, could get some pogo fruit. Let's see if uh, we got plenty of cube fruit here. Let's see, will I ever try Reseteer? Uh... I tried Reseteer once, the intro is really rough to work with. Maybe I'll get Shell to voice it for me. Not the rest of the series, just whenever any of the characters actually have plot stuff to talk about. That could work. Um, main issue with Reseteer is just... It's an older game, and I don't have time. I've got a list next to me of new games coming out in embargoes, and like, three of them are highlighted in in red, more or less, being like, by the way, uh, you, you really need to, uh, like, play some of these soon, because you're, like, people, uh, these games are already off embargo. I just haven't had time. My life is, like, a, a constant cycle of just... games. It's actually okay. I'm just desperately trying to finish some of them. Probably shouldn't have picked up Slime Rancher, but I need something to cheer up with. And it worked! Worked really well, honestly. This is... This game was, uh, really good for my, my mood these past couple weeks. I guess really this past week. I need more games that do that. Unfortunately, a lot of the other games I tend to play tend to be a little bit more on the, uh, dour or time-consuming or brain-requiring. Okay, so we don't need any more, uh, Boomer Phosphor plorts, so I can just dump them off. A 
Let's see, Starbound in 3D. No, I mean like Starbound with Factorio things. I had like the best machine, uh, machine assisted uh, farm ever in Starbound, but there wasn't really much of a point for it. I'd swear I'm not letting these fields uh, run out on my, uh, run out of their like source crop on their own. It's just happening and it's weird. I guess I'm just gonna fill this up for the time being. Okay, turn into a robot so you can play games 24-7. Dude, if I could like, have a robot body, I'd probably go for it. Maybe not immediately. Be handy though. Okay, uh, let's grab Crystal and Irradiated, and then maybe check the mines? I guess I could check the mines first. Okay. That was weird. Oh, it was like a graphical glitch with the, the irradiation field going by. It just looked for a second like it was, uh... Looked for a second like the, the textures were freaking out. I was wondering about that. Okay, uh, yeah, we want to sell these things first. Okay, did the price go up? Price did not. Uh, I give up trying to like deal with having proper pricing on these things. I mean, honestly, we've got tons of money, so it doesn't really doesn't really matter. Okay. I never made the apiaries. I keep going to make the ap apiaries and I just never even bothered. I don't want to get into the semantics of robot bodies right now though. Those, this gets weird. Okay, so we do need some more honey plorts in here. Honestly, let's just uh, make as many apiaries as we can. Eventually I'll just have a bonus stock of Uh, a bonus stock of every single part here. Or every single mine. And then we won't have to worry about it. Uh, like for example, I'd, I'd, I'd have like six spare drills, so if any of them ever go down, I can just swap them out. Hour and a half left. Okay, well that, that makes life easier. Okay. Selling until they hit rock, rock bottom and then never go back up. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. I swear I'm not letting these go fallow. Maybe with the trees they go down after a certain- and like after a certain point- Yeah, see this one just went down too. Ah. Well, this one's fine. Let's see, do I have any spare heartbeats hanging out around here? Yeah, the trick is I just want to produce enough in the auto- and have them stored in the auto feeder that if the- if the trees and whatnot do- do go down, it's just a matter of, uh, grabbing back from the feeders. I guess it doesn't matter too much. Look at all this spare crap that I could guess I can use. Why is there- there's just boom slime hanging out around there. Okay, anyway, apiary. The apiaries. I don't really want to go to like new areas to drop apiaries down, so if this one's like slightly less than efficient, that's okay. And I know tars spawn around here, but it just doesn't matter to me. They don't... Tars are not exactly what I, what I call scary. They're just kind of inconvenient. Especially because I think the tar here killed itself in the pond. Dumb bunny. Still no royal jellies, though. Gotta work on that one. But yes, it's a shame that the plort market never really goes back up. But I guess that's okay. I mean, I'm filthy rich to begin with, so it doesn't really bug me too much. Those guys eat a lot. I wonder if different slimes have different diets. Uh, not like diets, but, um... You know, different dietary... Not requirements, but like, uh, you know, they only eat X amount of... Oh, that's scary. 
you can deplete a pond. So I'm not I'm not going to take all the water from them. That would that would be bad if we accidentally like executed all of my uh all of my puddle slimes. This is just like all this water is now mine and then they then there goes the puddles. Yeah, consumption rate. That's that's the word. I'm I'm awake for this. I guarantee it. Not really. I've been getting like seven, eight hours of sleep every night, but I've just been feeling the most tired. I wonder, it's probably something to do with like allergies or something like that. I don't know. Not a big deal. It's just a matter of just like, I feel like, uh, I feel like I'm not getting enough sleep or maybe I'm getting too much and that's part of the reason why I'm all sleepy. Maybe I'm just not waking up right. I have no idea. Okay, with three puddles, the water raises over time. Five is the limit. Oh! So the... the puddles will go down. Uh... So you can actually deplete the water with too many puddle slimes. Now that's interesting. They also stop making plorts after a certain point. Okay. Well... I'm just gonna overfeed the pink slimes, because that's that's what we need the most of. Okay. I've got like tons of carrots too. Let's see. Carrots, these. The only technical problem I guess is that pink slimes I don't think have a uh, favorite food. They just have an every food. Which isn't that big of a deal. Um, it'd just be nice if they like had a favorite food so you could specifically cater to them. Okay, well, I don't think we've depleted these farms yet, but hard to say. Yeah, so there there are chickadoos hanging out around here. Nice. These farms aren't depleting, so hopefully, uh, hopefully they'll just keep breeding, and we'll just have like a shit ton of hen hens rolling around. Not that we really need hen hens, honestly. Uh oh. There's some non-hungry slimes hanging out here. And they're blocking the carrots from rolling in. Oh, that's inconvenient. Also, a random hen hen. It dies. That's what you get for what getting in my way. I feel kind of sexist. I, I I would have totally been fine with the rooster row because not a big deal. Well, not a big deal. Ah, they don't spawn as often, but the hen hens are going down. Okay. Anyway. I'm just drop. But I feel like I was missing there. I was missing a bunch. Either they were blasting it away or just it wasn't working properly. Okay, so now we've definitely we we're definitely within the time limit. Let's go. Let's go pick up our Oh, I've got some spare puddle plorts. Eh, shouldn't interfere with anything. If a diamond shows up, then I guess I'll just walk. Just make a second trip or something. Oh, there was the pump here, though. Alright, whatever. Not a problem. It doesn't look like it's giving us any of the rare bits anyway, it's just the other stuff. Hey, what are these? Primordial oils? Okay. Still none of the rare diamonds, but that's fine. I guess we could actually start uh, harvesting the, the chickens from here. You know what? I'm gonna just demolish this. I'm gonna put in a drill. I know it's a bit wasteful, but like... It's just kind of a pain in the butt having a... Uh, having to like make a second trip there every single time I want to come through. Okay. Oh, unless I get a lava dust. Yep, well, we didn't get any lava dust. Uh, you can also get diamonds, if I remember right. Now, question. Lava dusts are, um... Lava dust can, can be obtained there, or can you get lava dust from, uh... Do you have to get lava dust from where you get the crystal slimes elsewhere? I don't know if they're truly location-based or if it's just rare. 
Because the other thing is, we could go looking for, like, lava dust in, um... In treasure caches. But I, I'm just waiting for the, uh, the rarer... I'm waiting for the rarer treasure crackers. You got a lava dust from the... From by the barn? What? I'll have to look up a uh, Slime Science guide. Because it seems like it's kind of... kind of built on a foundation of nonsense. And... confusion. And I'd like to do it the right way instead of just sitting around waiting be and being like, So, when's my lava dust coming? And then it just never comes. Maybe it's just rare, maybe it just has something to do with how houses are handled. Maybe I have no idea. Can only be found near the crystal spawns. Okay, so I guess we will have to move our drills at some point. I guess I can uh, put my next set of teleporters out there. I do think I will look at the guide though. Or a guide. Okay, so these are... These are... Going to be empty until tomorrow. I think. Probably. Okay, how are these doing? Gonna have to replace a lot of them at some point. Oh, hello! Correction! Lava dust can be found apparently right there! <laughs> the survey on the state of this matter. Answer? Undecided. Well, um... Well, I can safely say I'm confused. Oh, we need some more pumps, don't we? I've only got, what, three of them in the area? And yeah, we need more. Okay, let's go make some pumps. That is confusing, but yeah, I should probably take a look at how any and all of this works. Because clearly, I'm doing it wrong! Okay, well let's let's grab all the uh let's grab all the ports. So I think that lets me get another teleporter. Not that I was paying a whole lot of attention. Move them to the next room. Passed. Okay. I can do that. What if the uh the wild chickadee uh not chickadoos, hen hens. Stop spawning around here if you've actually got the area filled with chickens. That's an interesting question, actually. Okay. Oh, they are breeding. That's a good sign. Okay, let's go see what we can make now that we got the, uh, the lava dust randomly. Still would like some more ro royal jelly, and I know I could go crack open that tre treasure chest thing. For whatever reason, I'm just... I... Mentally, I am not at all into the idea of uh, of looking for treasure orbs, or maybe it's flying. I don't know. Okay, well, let's check warp tech. So I need another strange diamond for a pink teleporter depot. Oh, okay, so we can we can do the warp depots, which really aren't that useful, honestly. Okay, so that kind of sucks. Be the builder. Yay. Okay. Yeah, maybe maybe I should look up. We've got like half of the achievements. There's 49 achievements in this game. Damn. Okay. So yeah, we need more diamonds. Not actually a big deal. Huh. I might have actually let those mint mangoes stick around on the ground for too long. Or I might not have been paying any attention. Also, very possible. And the warp depot means you can sell, uh, send stuff directly to the uh, let's see, directly to the uh, the sell thing. Yeah, I could do that. Mostly just lazy. Yet yeah, it actually seems like this might be. A oh, that's a drill. Damn it. I really wish you'd actually take the, uh, give me the most efficient option or the last option. I am, I think I'm actually too tired to, to be like pressing buttons exactly correctly here and I'm uh, making mistakes that I shouldn't be. Okay, so we definitely need some more, uh, we definitely need some more honey plorts. 
Uh, and then I think when, once we're done with this set of ports, uh, I'm gonna head back to the, uh, I'm gonna head back to where the apiaries are and gather what we can. Maybe we'll get, uh, some royal jelly. Maybe we won't. Not a big deal if we don't. Just means more waiting game. At some point I might actually just, uh, get rid of all of my slimes entirely and just live off of what I got. Or, I mean, the other alternative is actually just downsizing to a small number. Because we really don't need this amount of ports at all. But let's see, will I be hunting Slime Rancher? I'm not sure if I will. I'll have to look at what all the achievements are. Actually, you know what? We could take a... Let, let's do the apiaries and then I'll go take a look at the achievements. Because we've pretty much got everything down for a while. But yeah, I, I think I'd do like three slimes per pen. I could do one and it would probably be fine, but I think three... Three to five is probably the optimum number. Okay. So... You're done. Mon Royal Jelly. Okay. Let's see, and the remaining ones are up high. There's some of these are still going. Oh, I see. Oh, that's neat. They've got kind of like a weird bee thing. It'd actually be cool if they looked like a proper uh, beehive or whatever. But they've got like a honeycomb. And no luck. Well, that's fine. I'm not always lucky. What would happen if I tried selling these? It'd probably just bounce right off. It'd be funny if they were actually worth a fair amount of money. It'd also be kind of neat if this game went full sandbox game and actually, like, you know, maybe once you're done with the initial area, you can actually, like, build stuff wherever you want. Okay, so let's take a look at the achievements. Because, uh, yeah, for the most part, I'm not terribly interested in completing all of them. But, like, um, feed 100 chickens to slimes on the ranch, sell 5,000 plorts on the plort market. Uh, let's see, three different fruit trees on the ranch at the same time. Earn over 100,000 new bucks. Be knocked out before 10 a.m. Okay, that's really easy. Return to the ranch after more than 24 hours. Easy enough. Discover the glass desert. Okay, so we've got more things to do. Incinerate a elder chicken really easily. Completely fill up an upgraded silo. Ooh, okay, that might take some effort. Fulfill a range exchange request between noon and two. Hat trick. Three gold plorts from single gold slime. Okay, that's probably going to be impossible. Uh, that only works in comic books. Stand inside a rad aura for 15 seconds. Hold onto a tar for 15 seconds. Shoot a boom slime largo into the air that explodes before landing. Okay. Can stream more than 15 slimes in your vac stream at once. Well, on the range. Six different types of slimes in the same corral. That's worrying. Well, I guess it's not that worrying. Risky business. Three different types of Largos in the same corral. Pool party. Fill a pond on the uh, ranch with five different types of slimes. Ten different types of Largos on the ranch. Yeah, so a lot of these we're... I'm probably going to do by, like, custom... Crafting them. Yeah, we've also got things like... Reach 50,000 new bucks at the end of a five-day rush. Like, some of those are going to be kind of hard. It'd be interesting to do a five-day rush thing. Okay, so the glass desert is not in the game yet. Okay, well, I guess that makes life easier. But yeah, uh, you know, getting Bird or somebody else to play this with me as a uh, five-day rush competition. That could be kind of fun. I wonder what the trick would be to doing it. There probably are some, like, weird, dumb tricks to, to doing it the fastest. I get the feeling the trick would be actually completely ignore everything and uh, and just rush like eat, maybe maybe not pink slimes. Let's look at the list. I mean, honestly, rock tabbies might be fastest. Actually, no, you'd probably want pink and a ton of like a, a big old mess of pink plus maybe crystal.
I guess you can get irradiated really easily. Dunno. Okay, so somebody said... Up here? Yeah, I might be able to get up there. Alright, let's try it. Uh, let's wait for things to go. Okay. Yeah, Proto, you're hanging out. Oh, I don't have my hands on the keyboard. Yeah, you compete. Actually, that'd be kind of a fun thing to do. Just like a, a group competition. Uh, with a lot of different people. Of like, you know, everybody does the five day challenge and, you know, competes to see who, who can make the uh, most amount. Okay, so I'm trying to find where the other uh, treasure thing is with the royal jelly. Because I'd like to get it. I just, oh. You can go up real high here. It might be too high though. A screenshot was on Discord. Uh, okay. Let's see, we're close. Is it like over there? It's not below me, is it? Like a pond over there in a box. Okay. Let's see, is it on the mini? Oh, it could be on the minion bot lounge. No, it's not. Yeah, the problem is, I was told where this uh, royal jelly is, but now I'm gonna have to scroll through like a ton of messages to get to it. I love Discord, but it is not exactly easy to parse. But yeah, I I don't know. Maybe maybe uh, maybe I will do the. Uh, the five-day rush thing, if, uh, people are around. Uh, I might not do, um... Hmm. I don't know when I'd do it, though. I mean, I could actually do it within a week. It'd be kind of fun. But yeah, I'd, I'd probably do it as a competition. Maybe even prizes. I, I, I have games that I can't hand out as a prize and stuff like that. I don't think I have a spare copy of this game, but then again, nobody would want a spare copy of the game that we're doing a five-day rush for. Okay, is it on Minion Bot yet? Nope. Let's see if we can just search for it. Nope. Oh, okay, let's see this screenshot. Pot on your left. Oh. Pot on left, your telly is in room to the rear right. Okay, really, I just need to find that log. So I think we're in the right, we're in the right room. We just gotta, where's that log? Humorously, I can just hang out up here. Hmm. I don't see it. Okay, let's try, let's check this again. No, this is a log that points down. Oh. Oh, I'm looking at it from the wrong direction. Okay, so it's gonna be over here somewhere. Is it not? No. This is, this is it, okay. So the pod's around here somewhere. Just gotta find it around here. It's probably not up too high. Game gets really crappy when you're up high. Okay, so it's, oh, here it is. There it is. There's the royal jelly we were looking for. Good, thank you. Sorry that took so long. Let's see, you can get the royal jelly from trades. Oh, good to know. That's a little bit more, uh... That's a little bit more reliable, though, finding it in the treasure thing. And honestly, we don't need that much royal jelly. Honestly, all I need is one royal jelly for each one of my, um... My major slime pens. Because then I... Then I don't have to, uh... Then I don't have to walk all the time. 
Yeah, the trades are kind of obnoxious, so like, yeah, I could actually, uh... ...get what I'm looking for that way, but it just would be... It'd just be a pain. I was worried for a second there that we were only going to get, uh, two wild honey and one royal jelly, and it's just gonna be like, uh, well, this isn't any good. Okay. Well, let's go drop it off, make another deposit thing. Okay. And warp deck, refinery link, and I got the parts for it. Yeah. So let's go, uh, let's go do this. Hopefully there's, okay, there's a deposit spot right back here. Yeah, this, this'll do. Or do we want to do it right here? Warp tech. Uh, you know, I'm going to put it right here just because of the, the rotation. Okay, cool. So now we can actually drop off all of these really fast. Yeah, refinery links and market depots. Dude, market depots would be great. Either that or like a Factorio drone system where you just, uh, you just mark things in your inventory. I don't know, just playing this game really wants me to see like a, a Factorio, uh, Slime Rancher crossover game. Just mechanically, it would be so solid. I mean, honestly, it probably wouldn't be as good as I'd uh, like, just because it's not that deep. Okay. Wow. These guys are gluttons. Complete poop machines, too. It's nonsense. Okay, but yeah, this way we will never have to worry about plorts again. And once we, uh, once we fill up the refinery with, like, a ton of these, I'm probably just gonna... I'm probably just gonna eliminate a number of them, just because there's no way we need this amount of plort generation. Maybe we just do it right off the bat, because I'm spending too much time, like, feeding these guys, and it's a pain. We should also do that definitely with the, uh, the boom slimes. Yeah, but like, wouldn't it be, I, I'm just looking at this right now, and it's like, wouldn't it be convenient if you could actually hook that refinery link up to these, uh... These slime machines and just be like, alright, auto-deposit everything. And it just slowly starts sucking them up. It'd be great. Anyway, yeah. Uh, I, I guess let's, let's clear these out first. And then I think I think this is a good time that we can um I think this would actually be a good time to just start removing slimes from the mix. Now we could incinerate them. Be the monster that we are. Or we could uh we could let them loose in the most humane way possible. I could get, like, one more pen. Could work. Yeah, I could tar him. Alright. I'm gonna grab one of these guys. Is there... Is that a good angle? I think it is. They fly far... Yep, okay, that's, that's good. Same with you guys. We need, like, five of each. If we end up with a bunch of these guys outside of, uh, out back behind my house. That's okay. Throwing them into the slime sea is humane. You know, I never said I was humane. Not actually humane. If I had a reason to actually feel bad about this, I would. Like, you know, with Pokemon. I never release Pokemon. I always feel bad when they, like, talk about Pokemon being sad or sick or whatever. Like in this game, they're they're all just like, they have no personality. There's no reason to care about them. If I had to, like, train them up with, like, RPG levels and stuff, yeah, then I'd... Then I'd care. Okay, so we're down to five. 
that's a reasonable number. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Or with every other one. Except for the pink slime gulag. That is the only one that needs uh, high production values, honestly. Look at him, he's so happy, unaware of exactly what's going to be happening in the next couple of seconds. Even as they fly, they're like, yep, life is good. Life is good. Okay, so that's that's much more reasonable. And now we don't have to worry about feeding them nearly as much. I'd make a terrible parent. Then again, I'm never gonna have like 30 children, so I guess I don't really have to worry about it. Okay, and these guys are fully fed. Okay! Let's do the same thing. I, uh... I might... I might actually keep the the rad crystals. It's these guys. These guys are the problem. How do, I even, how do I get rid of you guys? I guess I could put, like, a temporary incinerator down. It doesn't look like he's going to explode on me, though. Eh, he might. Maybe they don't explode on you when you're looking at them. Holding them. I wonder if I could just, like... I wonder if you can actually, like, uh... Blast them. And get them to, like, warp out or something like that. But yeah, my my rad... My rad crystals, I think, I'll leave just because they're super tame. And, like, really easy to manage. I have their favorite food and they're worth the most. But the... the uh... Phosphor booms are just such a pain in the butt. I don't think it's it's uh, worth my time right now. Yeah, these guys are fine. Plus, I like them. They're cute. Let's see, can the pink slimes break out of their air net? I believe they can, if I have enough of them. As they currently are, most definitely not. Okay, good. We almost ran out of uh, food for the irradiated slimes. Hey, fireworks! <laughs> I'm a terrible person. Yeah, this this both fields died at about the same time. I should probably uh, desync them just so there's no chance of that happening. But that's okay. Yeah, one of the other reasons why I like these guys is they don't eat much. They don't output much either. I guess some of their plorts are escaping. It's mostly just this machine's fault. Get the irradiated achievement. Uh, I'll get it. I'll get it in a bit. I want to clear my inventory out, and I wanna. I wanna get rid of all of these, these boom slimes. I really made too many. Let's see. How many pink slimes can be forced into one maxed pen? I have no idea. That it, that will be something we will test. More fireworks. But yeah, that'll be something. Uh. That'll be something we test before we're done. That is absolutely certain. And why did I make so many of these guys? I'm dumb. Uh, if I'm doing the uh, if I'm doing the five day rush, I don't think I'm going to care too much about limitations like this. But I think if I'm just playing personally, I'd rather go for the uh, the slow and reliable. Where I don't have to constantly be feeding these guys. Oh, hey, it's about time to go check my machines for the day. I guess I'll hit the teleporter as I go by. Yeah, so I think I think at the end of this season we'll do the uh, the five day we'll do the five day ch challenge thing, just to see what happens. Are they ready? They're ready. Oh, we do have a spare crystal port. Ah, screw it. I one spare crystal port does not constitute worth going out of my way for. Let's see, what is... oh. It's a spare brine thing that I guess I missed. Still no diamonds. We'll get rid of the Q-berries if, if we get a diamond, but somehow it seems suspect. Oh, it's a crystal rock. He must have eaten the... Eating that port. Wow. Okay. Good for him. He got he got on that fast. Okay. 
Yeah, eventually I'd like to have enough uh, resource depositories that each one of my like major gathering areas uh, also have resource drop points, so I don't have to think about it. Let's see. Oh, it's about time for me to switch too. Should probably go figure that out. All right. Uh, so we've got food. Right. We are getting we are getting rid of the uh, we are getting rid of the boom slime, so I don't have to manage them nearly as much. Uh, I'll just toss some food into their auto feeder. Yeah, things are looking way nicer already now that we've kind of cleared the numbers. How many more are there that we want to get rid of? Actually, that might be. At six. Okay. So this one and one more. And we're good to go. They look so happy. I need to do that more often. Oh man. I gotta I gotta figure out uh it'd be interesting if I could set up like a a uh, a slime chuck course as like a as a challenge or a gaff or something. That would actually be really amusing. Okay, so two, six, yeah? Three, six. Okay, let's get rid of one. I don't know why five is my perfect here. It just feels right. Anyway, I believe, I could be wrong. If you launch one of these guys and then, uh, then press Q at the same time, they fly even further. Can't confirm or deny, honestly. Looks like it, though. Oh, there's a cute little splash animation when they die. Okay. So I'm gonna leave the, the rads like that. Every Everything else is good. Okay, let's go check our pumps and see if I can move them back a little bit. But yeah. Things just look way, way less, uh, problematic. Be interesting if you could actually, uh... You know, I'd actually be super down for it if you could, uh, if you could use, like, Primordy Oil and Deep Brine and, like, all of these others, other, like, rare resources. If you could actually use them as a, uh... Okay, we'll be done in an hour. I guess I'll come back and get them in a bit. Oh, and those are ap apiaries, so I don't have anything else I can do here. Um, but yeah, if you could like feed a, a slime primordial oil and get a completely different slime, that would I don't know, I'd, I'd really like that. I think that would be cool. And yeah, this way, now we will have a an extreme uh, excess of food for every every single uh, slime along the way here, which is actually probably for the best. 